the sports editor of the Duncan Banner here with Steve Justice for the Comanche Coaches Show. Uh, Coach Justice, you guys coming off a pretty big win on the road last week. Just talk about uh, what you guys were able to do and how you are able to execute and take down Cordell 51-34. Well, uh, one, uh, you know, our, we established the run early in the game, and uh, you know that was that was really good for us. Uh, Garrison McCauley ended up with about 230 yards of rushing, and then we had some other kids that ran the ball really well. Alex Tuttle and and uh, you know Johnny Heath ran the ball well for us, and he he made some good throws for us. So uh, our kids did a good job. Of course, up front, you know, uh, felt like that uh, our continuity continuity between our linemen was much better, and we're getting better every week up there. So they did a good job, and then uh, also defensively, our kids did a good job. So, uh, you know, we had a few miscues, uh, actually gave some points up without our defense being on the field, which we're going to try to make sure doesn't happen again. But, uh, you know, defense played well. Still able to overcome those miscues, though, and, and put things together there at the end? Yes. Uh, you know, especially in the second half, uh, it, we jumped out to a 14 uh, nothing lead and then uh, kind of had a couple mistakes and allowed those guys to come back in the game. But then we scored right before half to go in up 30-22. Uh, and uh, then in the second half, we pretty much took control and, and dominated the second half. This week, uh, you guys playing at home again. Uh, got Washington coming down here. Uh, Washington's had a couple of wins over some teams that, uh, you know, obviously they're better than. A couple of losses that are against some teams that are better than them. So it's kind of, you know, not sure where they stand right now. Uh, I mean, what are your thoughts on, on them this week? Well, you know, uh, yes, it may be a Washington team that uh, might be down from their standards, but uh, they've had some standards that's been awful high. And, uh, you know, they'll still be a, a quality football team, and, uh, you know, they always know what it seems like how to win district football games. And so it'll be a big test for us, uh, but it is good to be back home. I feel like our, chi our, our young men are going to be up to the test. Uh, we're getting prepared for those guys and uh, see if we can't go out there and get us another W. Uh, last year, you guys had two district wins. Is that correct? Three. You had three? Three district wins last year. You got two now. You could get your third one in your third district game of the season. Uh, you know, how big would that be for you guys going into the last last half of district play? Well, you know, uh, starting off uh, the first three district games with uh, three wins would be huge. Uh, you know, looks like four is probably the magic number that would have you you have a chance to get in. And uh, starting off with three right off the bat would be huge. Uh, would still keep us in first place in the in the district with some really good teams coming. So uh, you know, it would release some pressure. And uh, you know, it's just one of those deals. Also, that one once you get to winning, you know, you never want to lose that momentum. So a big a win would be huge for us. Would you say that this week's game is kind of a must win or, or at least maybe a, a statement week for you guys? Well, uh, I think from a coach's standpoint, uh, district wins are always must wins. And so, uh, you know, we're going to look at each one each week and, and put a big X on that as a target and say, hey, we need this. Uh, this is one that we felt like we got a good opportunity in and yes, uh, you know, we're, we don't want to look down the road at anybody else. We want to focus on Washington and uh, go out and get the best effort we can to get a W. What are some of the, the keys that Washington uh, has, has had some success in this season? Well, uh, you know, they, do a, they run the flex bone, run the option, uh, do a good job in that. Uh, and so it, our kids are going to be very disciplined, sign it responsible, know uh, who has the fullback, who has quarterback, who has pitch, and, you know, if you take and uh, do some things up front, you know, if you move some people or stunt some people or whatever, it, it sometimes changes those responsibilities. And so we're going to have to make sure that we continue to work on uh, knowing who we have and where we're supposed to be. And uh, so, anyway, it'll, it'll be a test for us, but one that we're going to, we're getting prepared for. And offensively, you guys scored 44 points against Walters two weeks ago. You got 51 the other night against Cordell. Uh, I mean, offense seems to be clicking, uh, just trying to keep that rolling? Yes, uh, you know, offensive continuity. And, uh, you know, that's one of those deals that uh, uh, we felt good about, that, uh, you know, we were still able to put points on the board. Our kids uh, drove the ball 
uh, we had some success in the special teams. We also uh, had, uh, you know, we ran a kickoff back for a touchdown. But, you know, if, if your kids uh, are efficient up front, uh, go put bodies on the bodies that they're supposed to put them on and uh, sustain those blocks, it always gives you a chance to win. And, you know, our kids did that last week. We want to make sure that we continue to do that. And uh, I feel like that our kids are getting better there. I know uh, winning, like you said last week, you made, you know, practices are better, they're more fun, the kids have a little more more energy in practice. you got two wins in a row now. Has the energy even increased since last week? Well, you know, uh, with uh, every, every year, you know, I think teams' focuses are getting to the playoffs and then see if you can go win a district championship and then possibly go on and, and you know, look at those championships on down the road to eventual state championship. But, uh, you know, if with losses, it's hard for kids to buy into that. And so, you know, with a couple of district wins right off the bat, you know, your kids can start seeing uh, something down the road that's a possibility. And so they start buying in even more. And I think you get better, uh, better concentration and more enthusiasm out of your practice. And kids just want to practice harder. So uh, it, it does help. All right, Coach. Well, good luck to you on Friday night. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks, man.